research hypothesis so what is a research hypothesis a hypothesis is basically an assumption assumption about relationship between two or more variables and when we need research hypothesis research hypothesis is not needed for descriptive questions so descriptive questions do not require hypothesis a hypothesis is only stated for analytical questions that means when we have comparison groups right so or we are doing intervention or experimental studies right then and then we will require a hypothesis so what is hypothesis hypothesis is an assumption and it is basically a specific version of our research question and here we summarize the main element of studies and that is mainly what is the exposure and what is the outcome and hypothesis is basically uh, establishment of a base for a taste of statistical significance and if you follow uh, the terms contained in your research question and analytical question that needs a statement of hypothesis for example greater or less than causes leads to compared with more likely than associated with related to similar to correlated with if these words come into your research question you need a hypothesis for example uh, analytical research question in order to improve management of type 2 diabetes we wish to know whether brisk walking by diabetic for at least one hour daily reducing uh, fasting blood sugar level as compared to those who do not and this was our questions that we have framed earlier so what is the research hypothesis among diabetics uh, that is type 2 diabetes from the study area who do brisk walking for at least one hour daily result in average reduction of 10 milligram percentage of fasting blood sugar level as compared to those who do not now see here two comparison groups are there one who is doing things and one who is not doing things and we have even specify the uh, reduction right that 10 milligram percentage reduction happens or not right uh, then there is something called null hypothesis and this we will come to know oh, uh, come again uh, in discussion when we will do statistical analysis and uh, we will talk about it that is null hypothesis a null hypothesis states that there is actually no association between dependent and independent variables in your study population that means actually there is no difference between your taste or experimental group and control group right so that we assume uh, initially so which of the following is stated mainly for statistical purpose so just for statistical purpose only research hypothesis is there research question objective and research hypothesis so only research hypothesis is stated mainly for statistical purpose second purely descriptive question do not require hypothesis 100 percent true statement right as per the following objectives a hypothesis should be started for which study now this is an interesting question now let us see whether we will be able to do it or not First of all, to determine the association of maternal smoking during pregnancy with respiratory infection, disease, morbidity and mortality in infants. Okay. To estimate the lifetime prevalence of mental health morbidities among elderly people in India. To describe the pattern of physical activity among uh, school going uh, children aged 6 to 18 years. To describe the temporal and spatial trends of mortality due to cardiovascular disease by age and sex in India during 2009 to 2019. Now, first of all, we want to uh, make a hypothesis. So, first of all, it has to be analytical study. It should not be a uh, descriptive study, right? So, first of all, uh, the estimation or measurement disease or descriptive study will go out, right? So option A, if you see, we want to make an association of maternal smoking during pregnancy with respiratory infections. Uh, and uh, here we are not measuring something. We are uh, to determine the association, right? So here we are doing, uh, we want to check association between exposure and outcome. So it is an analytical study. So for that, we have to state a hypothesis. Second option, we want to estimate the prevalence, so it is a descriptive study, so no need of hypothesis. To describe it, it is already a descriptive study. To describe, again, it is a descriptive study, so no need for hypothesis. 
characteristic of good hypothesis obviously it has to be simple if it is one exposure one outcome it will make hypothesis good it is simple second specific there should be no ambiguity about who will be the study participant what will be the exposure what will be the outcome of so, so as your variables both variables exposure and outcomes are clear there should be they should be very specific so simple specific and first of all it has to be stated in advance you cannot uh, state hypothesis at the end of study it has to before starting the study it has to be written outside just after your analytical research question you have to state the hypothesis and you should make hypothesis focused mainly on your primary objective what you really want to do in that study so 3s simple specific stated in advance so characteristic of a good hypothesis are all except there should be no ambiguity so it should be very specific so yes that is correct it should be stated a priori that means before it should be stated stated in advance yes it can be revised based on study finding no once you have made your hypothesis you cannot change it so c is the wrong statement here it should specify one exposure one outcome so make it simple one exposure one outcome so d is correct all of the following are characteristic of good research hypothesis except it should be simple true research hypothesis should be devoid of any ambiguity about study participant and variables true it should be specific c research hypothesis should focus on primary objective mainly yes that is also true and it should be written once study is completed no it should be started in advance before even study has started 